if you can tell us what Neymar told you on the penalty in Champions League, because I imagine it was not an easy moment for you. You are a top talent, but you are young when you have Neymar in front of you. Champions League, Paris Saint-Germain. How was this feeling, what he told you? So, Dominic, super pleasure to have you here. First of all, super happy to see you. I am, and we are big fans of you. You're doing an incredible job. And so we love talents. We love to talk and speak with talents. And so thank you for accepting the invitation. And how are you, Dominic? Um, thank you for calling me and uh, yeah, I'm very good. I got a little injury uh, in the weekend, but um, hopefully gonna be gonna be good for for this week. You're feeling you're feeling well, you're feeling better. So and we are we are super happy about it. We are super happy about your your impact with Leipzig. We were discussing about your your move last winter window with, uh, with Leipzig, and so it's been something great. And we are gonna talk about it. But I wanted to start, Dominic, asking you about this new chapter of your life because Red Bull Leipzig means a top European club, trusting young players. So it was a very important choice for you. How is going your life with Red Bull Leipzig and what do you feel with this new club, new event for you? Nothing, nothing special new. Uh, new things are here from, you know, I came from Salzburg, so I know the philosophy. I know, I know actually everything, but um, the intensity is, is it's a bit different compared to the Bundesliga. So yeah, I'm I'm doing I'm doing good. I'm back from my my six month injury injury. So I'm really happy to be back, and uh, I'm just just doing my things. Yes, and you are enjoying Bundesliga football, no? Because we're talking about okay, top level. You were moving from different country. Now it's time for German football, as you said. Different intensity, level is so high. If you are playing Champions League football, so I feel you are enjoying. You are a guy. You seem like a guy that enjoys this kind of challenges, no? Yeah, foot, football. You have to enjoy it. Without enjoying, I think I would not. I would not play football if I would not enjoy it. I'm of just quick <laughs> day. Maybe sometimes too early, but and I'm crying. This is how it is. Uh, you have to work for it. And, um, and what Dominic was saying is about. The excitement and how he's enjoying uh, playing football at top level in a club like Red Bull, Red Bull Leipzig. So I wanted to ask you about your feeling about being a leader in this team because you know it's something new also for your career. As we said, you are now in Leipzig, but you are a leader of this team among the leaders. You have many talents, many interesting players. What is your feeling into this leadership? I feel you have leadership into your mentality as a player. So how is your feeling in being a leader in a club like Leipzig? A lot of leader or something like this. Um, I think the old players is may maybe more leader. Um, I want to. I want to. Show that I want to. I want to be on the pitch leader and show what I can and playing football. Yes, um, that's what I'm doing. So this is this is your mission, and I also wanted to ask you about your goals, your targets with Red Bull Leipzig, because okay, you joined the club one year ago, as you said, you had. An injury and everything now is great. Uh, you are starting at the best level for for Leipzig. So now, when you look at the future with this club, what is your target? What do you want to achieve as Red Bull Leipzig player? Um, personal or with the team? Both, both. If you have a, a personal target and then with the team, because later I will ask you about your personal for the future. But I mean with Leipzig in this case. Um, for Leipzig, um, we just want to. We are going every game out on the field and want to win, want to show how good we are and uh, want to fight for each other. Uh, this is what Jesse is asking for it. And uh, also our plan is to do it. And uh, I think we are, in, we are in a good way. Maybe the start was not the best, but we are coming back and concentrating on the next games. Yes. And how do you feel about the Bundesliga? Because we're talking about the league full of talents. You are one of the biggest. We have many and many. So I wanted to ask about your feeling, a general feeling about the league. How do you see the Bundesliga? You think it's becoming close to the Premier League as one of the top leagues in the in the world? Well, I'm I'm not looking for the league. Um, I'm really looking for myself, for my team. If, if Leipzig would be now in the Premier League, then I would I would say, OK, we have to show there that we are a good team if we would play in Spain. We have to show there that we are a good team. So for me, actually, it doesn't matter which league I play. I want to be in the in which team I am. I am in 
I want to I want to give my best and work for them. You have always been very open. Eh? I still remember we had many different rumors about you, and you have always been very open. And this is something that's showing that you are so modern in this. So I really like this this approach for you. And of course, now you're giving your best to to Leipzig. But I wanted to come back to some points of your life as a player, Dominic. And so I wanted to ask about your model, your idol, when you were a kid playing football as a baby you had an idol in your life uh, yeah i had when i when i was a small kid i had all, I, i was always in my mind i i want to be cristiano ronaldo i think like as a lot of kids but uh, as i grow up i know i can i can reach the top and uh, i started to thinking on myself and um, just concentrate on me not looking to anyone else um i just want to me and myself But you always had Cristiano as a potential idol, so to say, because of his technical skills or because of his mentality? Because the mentality of Cristiano is as great as his skills. So it's also part of mental, I guess, not only technical. Yeah, because of his mentality, um, because he worked so much for, for, for dreams and what he wanted, what he wanted to achieve. And uh, yeah. He did it, so it's not nothing impossible. Also, I have I have my own goals, and I'm gonna reach it also. Have you ever met with Cristiano on the pitch or not yet, Tommy? No, no, no. In, in the, um, Europe, would, would, would but okay, 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 okay. Maybe maybe one day we will see. We will see. Uh, wanted to ask you about your biggest dream in football right now. Talking about you, a part of Leipzig, we said that you want to achieve every single game at the best level. But talking about you as Dominic Sobos, like your biggest dream in football, because I'm told that you love the Champions League feelings. So maybe it's related to Champions League. Yeah, I, I want to win the Champions League one time. Mm -hmm. So Champions League, what do you feel when you are in Champions League football? Because I really see your games with Leipzig and see that you are really enjoying Champions League. So also when the pressure is so high, of course, we have fantastic players, the best competition in the world. But at the same time, there is a lot of pressure. And for many young players, You know, it's not easy to manage these kind of situations. For you, it seems to be something you like, no? But I love pressure. I say, <laughs> I say a lot of times. Uh, I I love pressure. So not like I'm scared and I'm nervous before the game. I have my own day, game day. Uh, what I'm doing, uh, how I'm preparing myself, and uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for these these games, and I want to show. Yes. Yes, and it's, it's so clear that you really enjoy what you're doing. And so this is something and I think also the fans are appreciating appreciating a lot. Also wanted to ask you, how important, Domi, is football in your life? For example, when you are home, so after games or after training, you are watching football games, you are playing maybe video games, or is something that you don't care? Um, of course, when, when my friends are alone, i have to be honest i never play fifa alone <laughs> but my, if my friends are here um i play with them we are joking so and also if it's champions league day tuesday wednesday i'm watching champions league game also bundesliga and um of course salzburg i'm, I'm watching almost every game but um yeah this is how my my day is going so if it's a game i watch it For example, have you ever studied, I saw this question before before you joined the live, but have you ever studied the goalkeeper in your life, for example, for free kicks or these kind of things before the game? Or is something that you are just doing what you feel at the moment on the pitch? Um, just just for the free kick. I'm, I'm looking at the penalties, yes. Um, especially in the team. I, I watch them a lot. <laughs> The normal game, Bundesliga, I looked at it because it's different in the game. Everything is, is in the game. So maybe the guy will not stand like how he stands before uh, yes. <laughs> the game. So I'm just on, on. Yes, yes, yes. And I wanted to ask you about your relationship with one of the best talents together with you of European football, we are talking about a special guy, a special player like Erling Golan, because since your relationship is very good, so I wanted to ask you if you can tell something 
about this story, your story with, with Erling as a friendship, as a big friendship. And if you're still talking with him, if you send him some message, he's sending you messages. So how is the relationship with Erling? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm really good with him. I think a week ago we was on the phone. With uh, yeah, when, when he came to, to Salzburg um, alone, nobody spoke um, his language and he was alone. And I was like, I know this feeling because when I came up for the, to the first team, I felt the same. So I just took him and helped him a lot, uh, trying to, to teach him some words in German or um, going with him in the city or going to uh, dinner and stuff like that. And we just uh, became close friends. And uh, yeah, we're still in contact. Sometimes he wrote me. Now I wrote him how he's doing. Uh, but yeah, we keep in touch. Yes. And what do you think about him? When you saw him for the first time in training, you remember what you thought about this boy because I think it's impressive for the other teammates to see a player like you, like Colan, when we talk about top talents, it's impressive. So I can't ask about yourself, but about Erling, what you felt when you saw him for the first time in training? Yeah, I, I knew it from the day one that he's a, he's a killer in the box. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, so he just has to prove himself uh, with, to be even stronger, to be even faster, to be even more chill before the in front of the goal and and he did it and he improved himself and as you see he's he's a beast of course of course of course and i really like this this friendship between top talents so it's really really good and also good guys because i think this is the best way you are showing your your personality and this is why i'm super happy you're here to show part of this personality to the people that, that love you and I wanted to ask you also about something behind the scenes because many fans here in the chat are asking about this one and so if you can tell us what Neymar told you on the penalty in Champions League because I imagine it was not an easy moment for you you are a top talent but you are young when you have Neymar in front of you Champions League Paris Saint-Germain how was this feeling what he told you but this is what I love you <laughs> um he he asked me uh, are you going to score I said yes um, and he asked me again are you sure I said, yes I never miss and then he stayed, up. and then after, after the score, and we went back. He just came to me and say, "Yeah, you said and you did. Congrats!" So yeah, it's very good. Uh, how was your feeling? Because it's Neymar, right? It's not a normal player. We are talking about one of the best of the last twenty years. So when he told you like this at the end of the story, it was a matter of proud for you, no? Yeah, yeah. I, I was, I was really happy, and also like he's. He felt a good guy. I, I don't have contact with him. I didn't know him. But um, like for the first time, he, to me, he was a good guy. So I like him. There is a player in this Champions League experience you are doing that maybe surprised you on the pitch. I, I say in a football sense, of course, not as a person, but as a player. That maybe you were not expecting at this level and then playing against him, say, wow, this is a huge talent or also an old player maybe that is still showing example, I see Thiago Silva. So this kind of example still could be good. Um, never look at other players. Mm -hmm. there. I want to, I want to be my, in my best uh, shape and uh, I'm working for it every day. So if the other player is doing good, okay, do, you can do it, but I can do it also good. So I, I want to be in my, in my situation. I want to concentrate on myself and I want to do my own way. I see that you're really hungry and this is something, something really fantastic. I think it shows your ambition. This is one of, your, of the key of your success as top talent. And so I really like this kind of aspect. How many, how important is for you? I want to ask you the training because, you know, I think that now is something that sometimes is underrated in modern football, but I think it's what is making the difference. You made Shred Arant and I think, I think also about you. We can see how you speak about yourself, your mentality. It's something really important to see how you train, how hard are you working on yourself. So how important is the daily training, a part of the big ones like Champions League, Bundesliga, but then you have to train day by day. So. I think this is the most important thing. How you improve yourself because what you're going to do in the training, you're going to use in the game. So if you are doing 
not good in the in the training, you will be not good in the game. So every day you have to go out on the pitch and show 100% or even more and work for, for you. You don't work for, for any other people. You work for yourself that you want to be the best. And you want to be the next year on the best of the field. So I'm just going every day out on the pitch like this. And it now worked. Sometimes also, of course, we also as a professional football players have a day like, oh, would be a yeah. nice day now a little bit. But no, this this way what you what you was looking for and this is where you are. This is, this is very important said by you because it seems you're speaking like you are 30 or 35 years old, but you are not. And so this is a fantastic mentality and this is really positive for you and shows why you are to you are at top uh, top level. Uh, I wanted to ask you a complicated question now, some of your opinions uh, about Ballon d'Or, because you know that in a few days it will be announced. And so I wanted to ask you, if you had to vote for one single player at the Ballon d'Or, we have people voting for Messi, people voting for Lewandowski, people voting for Jorginho, we have many candidates. If you have to vote for only one player, who is your mention? I will vote for Erling. Okay, Erling. Why? He is my brother. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So your vote is for Erling, but um, you, you think that one day he will reach this level to win the Ballon d'Or because it seems unlikely this year because of the injury, of course. But do you think that one day he will do it? I, I hope for him. Like, uh, he has everything to, to get it and to reach uh, uh, this level. Um, I hope for him. He deserves it. I'm sure that you will never say because of yourself, of course, but I can say that also you have this label to arrive into the candidates one day. So I'm sure that this is one of your targets and uh, to show your ambition. So I'm 100% sure, sure of this. Tony, I wanted to ask you about your future. Of course, you are super happy in Leipzig. You are focusing on Leipzig. So let me clarify on this point before everything coming out. But just wanted to ask you, which league of countries one day you would like to, to experience? Because you say that I'm very open, I don't care about the league, but maybe you have something that is motivating you, some country in particular you would like to try in many years, I'm not saying now, of course, but it's something that is in your mind or you're not thinking about it? I want to show how good I am. I want, I want to play as much as I can. And then with the future, maybe, Two years, we will call each other again and then we will talk about it. Yes, we have to do a here we go. But at the moment, we already did one year ago, so I let you enjoy your your Leipzig life and you deserve to enjoy your Leipzig life. And uh, Dominic, I wanted to ask you also about this, about this point, the transfer market, because I still remember last December was an incredible race for you. We had clubs from Italy with a similar in particular, clubs from England, clubs from Spain, many clubs involved in this race to sign you. I still remember your agent, Matthias Esterazzi, doing an incredible job with many clubs interested. So it was not an easy, an easy deal and it was incredible. It was one of the biggest of the window. So I wanted to ask you, how you handle with the pressure of the transfer market? Because you have to be ready. Okay, you are Dominic Soboslai, so many top clubs will always be on you. You will spend the whole career with top clubs in the papers, in the rumors about you. How do you leave these kind of rumors? Um, yeah, this, this, is, this is the one pressure I, I don't like so much because uh, I want to concentrate on myself. And if it's coming from there, from there, from there, from there, everything, then... And I have to speak also with, with my agent and tell him like, okay, now now we have to take it easy. We have to sit down. We have to explain to each other what, what is the plan. But um, yeah, this is my this is my goal to be um, on the top and um, in everywhere um, in, the, in the world where I could I could maybe join. Yeah, so wasn't easy also for you to have all these rumors like one year ago in December 2020, I imagine. It was from different countries, so yeah, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Uh, still, still, I decide the um, best way for my career because uh, in the beginning, um, this this type of playing football or this style of football, I know already, and um, and yeah, I like it. And I this was just just the one step after Salzburg, and um, hopefully. Of course, of course. And I, I like this kind of mentality and showing your 
your ambition and also you're a very positive guy. And this is something that is really important in today's football, I think. It's not easy to find humble guys, but at the same time ambitious and serious as you are. And so I wanted to ask you also something maybe funny or something like this that you can tell us about the dressing room life. I know you will never reveal something crazy, but I'm just saying normal things happened in the dressing room. Something you will never forget on this beginning of your career that is showing how important is the dressing room atmosphere. Maybe positive moments with Salzburg, with Leipzig. And- yeah, I have one situation when we, when we, with Salzburg, we went to the Champions League <laughs> and uh, I don't want to speak about it, but I enjoyed it a lot. So Okay, 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 okay. We can say, we can say. Okay. But it's better like this, it's better like this. And um, and also, I mean, before we end this uh, this, inter- this interview and this conversation, I really appreciate it a lot and I really like your, your mentality. I, I see that also people are so happy to see your, your approach with football. Uh, and so what I wanted to ask you is if you want to end with this final game we always do here live on, on, on my Twitch channel, it's about, I usually do the best 11 of players you played with, but in your case, as you are still super young, so you don't have too many players to pick, I wanted to ask you if we can do a top five, so futsal team of your teammates, and if you have to play futsal tomorrow and you can pick a team only for your former or current teammates, you can say these names. So I'm sure you will say Erling and yourself. So we need three positions, the goalkeepers no. and two no, players. Let's, let's let's take the 11. Let's take the 11. Let's I do 11. Thinking about Fantastic. it. So. Fantastic. Let's do it. I love it. Um. Okay. So I think in, in the goal, I would take uh, my Hungarian friend, Gulachi. Perfect. Okay. Then we are we are gonna play four three three, okay? Four three three with one with uh, one six or two? As you wish. This is your decision. Your decision. Okay, we, are, we are attacking, so we just have one. Okay, perfect. Uh, my left back would be Angelino. Perfect. Incredible player, eh? Left inside uh, would be Guardiol. What do you think about him? I I heard something incredible about this boy, yeah. Yeah, he. He's really good, good guy, but uh, still young. <laughs> Lot of potential, yes. Then uh, right centre back. Okay, okay, okay. Let's say. It's not I easy. Take, yeah? I would take uh, Ramayo from uh, okay. PSV. Okay. Perfect. Uh, really good with the ball, and I need guys who are good with the ball. <laughs> okay. Quality, quality. My right back would be Christensen, Rasmus Christensen from Salzburg. Okay. The midfield, your position. So you have to go with top quality, yeah? Oof. Hard, hard. Uh, super hard. I know. Okay. And you, two- you can't mention yourself, huh? I am not in. Okay. No, you are the manager. Okay, I am in. I am in, of course. <laughs> okay. Um, I would be number 10. Okay. And behind me, two sixes would be uh, Tyler Adams. How good is Tyler? I wanted to ask you because every time I see these American fans getting crazy for him, thinking that he will be a top player in the future. Like him? He's good. He's good. He's the leader. He's good. I would take uh, Haidara. I'm a good okay. Perfect. He's a good team, yeah. I don't know if on FIFA is good because too offensive, but. Right. <laughs> Right, I would take Erling. Okay, of course. Yeah. Wingers, we need. Wingers is difficult. Yeah? I would take Karim Adeyemi from Salzburg. And we missed the last one. It's not it's not a bad team. A eh? lot of quality, a lot of talents. I love it. I love young talents. Uh, I would I would take a leader, Emil, Emil Forsberg. Okay, you need it. Definitely. I agree with you. You need it. Some leadership. Yeah. So the so the team is something really good, eh? These attacking players, it's almost like fourth square goal under the Yemi is amazing, eh? yeah. It's, it sounds super, super interesting. What do you think about the Yemi? I wanted to ask you because he seems to be the next big thing of Salzburg. Yeah, uh, he's doing so. He has all everything in front of him. He's he's still young, and uh, yeah, he should he should just just continue. Mm-hmm. 
and sure, I'm sure he will. As after Poland and you, it's, it's incredible how Salzburg are working on this kind of player and Leipzig too, of course. So these young players' mentality is going to continue. So your your best eleven is amazing. It's amazing, Dominic. I loved it, but I really love to to talk with you, to show the people what kind of mentality you have, what kind of ideas you have. Congrats on your English because your English is perfect. So I know it was a uh, was ne it's never easy to go live with with English with not your your original language, but you were perfect. And so thank you, Dominic. I wanted to say thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Maybe my English is not perfect, but it's great. It. It's great. It's great. It's great. No, I really loved it and wanted to say again thank you, Dominic. Doing an incredible job. I'm sure you will be into the best players in the world. So we will meet each other again and again here and in many other interviews. But I really loved your approach, your ideas, your career, and everything you're doing. So congrats and wishing you all the best. Thanks, Tommy. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.